In the heart of Brazil's verdant rainforests, a golden symphony of life resonates. A primate crown with gold, the Leontopithecus rosalia, or as it's famously known, the golden lion tamarin. Join us on a mesmerizing journey into the world of this endangered species, exploring its evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. The golden lion tamarin is an iconic New World monkey endemic to the Atlantic coastal forests of Brazil. Named for its magnificent reddish gold mane and fur, this small primate has captivated conservationists and the public alike. Unfortunately, heavy deforestation and the exotic pet trade have landed Leontopithecus rosalia on the IUCN red list as an endangered species. Once reduced to just 200 individuals in the wild in the 1970s, intensive recovery efforts helped boost populations while securing protected habitats across Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. However, the fate of this lion-maned monkey remains deeply uncertain as expanding human activities and climate change place mounting pressures on the delicate tropical forest ecosystem this species calls home. Evolutionary History The evolutionary origins of Leontopithecus rosalia trace back approximately 3 to 4 million years to the early Pleistocene epoch when New World monkeys first migrated from Africa into South America. Here a subgroup known as colitricids, including marmosets and tamarins, emerged as small-bodied arboreal foragers well suited to the blossoming diversity of neotropical rainforests. Over successive ice ages, extended periods of forest fragmentation led to isolation and speciation events for early Lyon tamarin populations separated across southern Brazil. Molecular evidence suggests their divergence from other congeneric tamarins occurred approximately 1.5 million years ago. Taxa within the genus Leontopithecus then specialized based on geography, with Leontopithecus rosalia likely evolving golden pelage some 700,000 years ago to blend into the lush emerald foliage of Brazil's Atlantic forest. Known for frequent twin births, this established higher reproductive rates to sustain fragmented populations. Such adaptations were vital for their persistence up to the modern era. Morphological Description As members of the New World Monkeys, Parvator platerini, Leontopithecus rosalia exhibits characteristics including a prehensile tail, narrow nostrils facing outward on a flat nose, and claws suitable for grasping except for the nails on its big toes. Weighing just one pound fully grown, it measures 11 to 13 inches from head to tail. Its trademark golden pelage is interspersed with silver guard hairs and a russet red mane framing its face. Dimorphism between the sexes includes males possessing longer canines. Lion tamarins lack the trichromatic vision typical of other primates, possessing just a single photopigment gene linked to poorer color vision. Unlike many primates, they also lack fingernails, having claw-like nails used for gripping vertical surfaces. Their digestive systems host bacteria that break down gums and oils allowing them to feast on certain tree saps. Locomotion involves running along the tops of branches and spectacular leaps up to 26 feet between trees and vines aided by elongated limbs. Ecology Golden lion tamarins inhabit exposed or edged microhabitia within Brazil's highly threatened Atlantic forest. Weighing ecological roles from seed dispersal to prey items, these omnivorous monkeys consume fruits, nectar, saps, flowers, spiders, frogs, snails, eggs, nestlings, and small vertebrates. Fruit pulp makes up over 50% of their annual diet. Alongside habitat fragmentation, Leontopithecus rosalia faces sharp competition for resources from marmosets and other tamarins where native ranges overlap. In adapting to resource scarcity in fragmented forests, Leontopithecus rosalia has demonstrated key behavioral plasticity, faster foraging habits while spending less time engaged in vigilance. Such adaptations maximize weight gain and reproduction efforts. They tend to live in small family groups of two to eight individuals communicating via high-frequency whistles. Reproduction occurs year-round with distinct birth seasons linked to peaks in fruit resources. Males' nanny groups assist breeding pairs and rearing infants. Even so, 
just 40% of infants survive to one year from environmental stresses and predation pressures. Maximum lifespans in the wild reach 15 years. Habitat and behavior. Golden lion tamarins are arboreal primates requiring connection midstory and canopy access between old-growth trees of Brazil's Mata Atlantica forests at elevations below 3,000 feet. They frequent a shrunken mosaic across Rio de Janeiro, Acerito Santo, and Sao Paulo, lands enveloping their entire historic range. Playing vital ecosystem services as seed dispersers and prey species, Leontopithecus rosalia spends the majority of time off the forest floor foraging fruits and sap while vigilantly scanning for aerial and terrestrial predators that include hawks, snakes, ocelots, and domestic cats. Unlike other primates, Leontopithecus rosalia sleeps in tree hollows as opposed to building nests, often two or more individuals huddling together through cooler months for warmth. Family groups employ sentinels that alert others to approaching predators via piercing alarm calls in early mornings and late afternoons when changing light compromises their vision. When threatened, tamarins rush to lower trunks and vine tangles or freeze completely still. While territorial, their home ranges often overlap with other primate species. Come dusk they make long calls to locate group members and synchronize evening routines. Conclusion the brilliant golden lion tamarin persists today as a conservation success symbolizing intensive recovery work to restore endangered animal populations and habitats. Yet expanded efforts are urgently required to secure remaining habitat and forest connections in and around protected areas like the Poco das Antas Biological Reserve. Sustained reforestation initiatives must occur across additional tracts of private land to facilitate genetic diversity for their long-term survival. Bolstered international regulations should also target the illegal pet trade which continues to threaten wild populations through trafficking activities. Much work remains to ensure sustainable futures for Leontopithecus rosalia amidst the compounding threats of climate change, deforestation, infrastructure intrusions and competition from human activity. As an Atlantic forest endemic, Saving the golden lion tamarin requires saving the delicate rainforest ecosystems this species relies upon, in turn preserving the tremendous biodiversity these forests hold. Our actions over the coming decade may well determine whether these magnificent primates persist or fade into legend as ghosts of Brazil's famed Mata Atlantica forests.